Hi everyone, today I'm going to be cooking a cherry tomato, pesto and feta cheese tart. Really simple recipe, but really, really nice and really flavoursome. Um, I don't know if it's Italian or Greek, but somewhere along the line, somewhere in between, it's Mediterranean. Uh, if you want the full ingredients, there is a link down below to Chef's Travels. Uh, whilst you're down there, uh, I haven't had that for a long time, whilst you're down there, uh, hit the subscribe button and you'll have lots and lots of good luck for the rest of your life. Uh, disclaimer. <laughs> anyway, also, even subscribe or give me a thumbs up, all appreciated. Without further ado, let's get cooking. So the ingredients we're going to need for this recipe some cherry tomatoes some feta cheese some fresh basil some pesto and of course some puff pastry and So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll out our pastry to do this make sure you've got a good dry clean surface put a load of plain flour down take your puff pastry put it on top the secret to rolling this pastry out is lo using loads of flour it stops it sticking it just makes life a little bit easier and there you go and also take it out of the fridge about an hour before you're going to use it and it just makes rolling it a lot easier as you can see. I'm not breaking a sweat or struggling at all. It's not one of my favourite jobs but it's one of those jobs that has to be done. Apologies to any bakers out there. I know it's your passion and I do have a passion for pastries, I just don't have a passion for rolling out pastry. That's a fair comment isn't it? So what we want to do is try and get about four or five, we're going to get four out of this and then we're going to use the off cuts to make a fifth one. And there are people out there who say you're not on, you're not supposed to do that with puff pastry. Well, I know that, but I've always done it, and it's always been fine. So it saves throwing that large, that little bit away when you can make another another pasty out of it. Simple as that, really, isn't it? Every little else, as they say in certain stalls. So with your pastry rolled out, you can basically make them any size you want, whatever size suits you. I like to make them quite big, so I use this um, this bowl. And as you can see, they come out a good old size. Take your knife. Don't do this on your mum's best work surface because there's a possibility you might scratch it and she won't be letting you in the kitchen again after that. Because I'm gentle, I know what I'm doing. I'm safe. And then take a little bit of flour, sprinkle it on top. Put your pastry over there. Put your rounds over there the other one on top. Make sure you give it a good sprinkling of flour before you put the other one on top because otherwise they'll stick together and when it comes to using them it will just be one big clog and you have to roll them out again which you really don't want to be doing. So cut the rest of them out. Don't worry if they don't come out too round because you're going to be reshaping them anyway and you can just put them back into shape when you use them. 
If it is a little bit small for your last one, just roll it out a little bit more. Simple, isn't it? Not difficult. Ain't rocket science. Give a little roll like that. Fantastic. Absolutely perfect. And another one done. And then collect up all these little pieces. Don't smush them about too much. Try and layer them on top of each other like that. And you should be able to get another round out of them. Just put them together like that. A bit more flour on top. Like so. So now it starts to get exciting. What you want to do? Is take our round. Take our pastry rounds. All the pastry rounds, like so, like that. Give them a little indentation. looks a bit better in a minute and you'll see why. So with that done, I'm going to put them on the tray. They don't all fit, just do two at a time. Unless you're in a panic or in a hurry then if that's the case you haven't planned yourself very well it's your fault <laughs> give him a little bit of a egg wash basically just round the edges you don't need to do the middle because the middle is going to be the middle is going to have something in it later on so we don't need to do the middle just like that in a hot oven about 180 degrees just let them rise full details in chefstravels.com uh, temperatures, recipes, ingredients, everything you need to know. So they go in the oven. For about 10 minutes. And so it's time to take our puff pastry out of the oven. And so, first thing we want to do dollop of paste, dollop of pesto on there, spread it around, give a good dolloping, like so. Well, don't worry if it sinks a little bit, it all gives it a little bit of character. I think they call it rustic. Rustic, I think they call it. Again, you don't want to overpower it with pesto, but you know, a fair amount. do is put our cherry tomatoes on, like so, make it look like a nice little alien spaceship. And then take your feta cheese and that goes on like so. Excuse fingers, but these are for me, so it doesn't really matter. If you're doing them for other people, obviously wear some plastic gloves. Health and hygiene and all the rest that goes with it. 
So that's done, they go back in the oven for about another 10 minutes. babies. So one thing left to do, small sprinkling, awesome, fresh basil. That. Beautiful. And that ladies and gentlemen, is a sexy little showstopper at any dinner table. Grilled tomato, pesto, and feta cheese tart. Done. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one.